Hi there, David. Let's take a look at your first set of essays, okay? The first one is about the enjoyable activity. Let's see what you said. In recent decades, it has been debated whether reading or doing enjoyable activities with a child is better at developing skills and imagination. This is who argue that enjoyable activities can develop better mental strength and creativeness than reading alone, comma, using studies and game consoles and sports-related competition. All right, fine. To begin with, reading brings numerous benefits. Nevertheless, playing on games consoles can develop mental skills that would be impossible to have just by reading alone. This is because playing on electronic games consoles such as PlayStation or Nintendo can help children to nurture cognitive and spatial awareness that reading could not do. In fact, recent studies by Harvard University indicate that children who spend two hours a week on game consoles outperform their counterparts by 20% in psychometric tests. As a consequence, playing game consoles provides, you need an S there, children an opportunity to progress in areas neglected just by reading alone. All right, that's fine. Secondly, participating in sports-related competitions such as soccer, okay, uh, can stimulate a child's imagination. This is because, you don't need a comma here, within a short period of time, a child needs to imagine and anticipate a wide range of permutation. Uh, all right, let's try that again. A child needs to imagine and anticipate, you're not in, anticipate a wide range, this is the wrong word, from a single action. For example, recent research by Oxford University shows, S, that, or showed, that the imaginative part of soccer players' brain is 45% more active than those of vivid readers. Thus, it is clear that imagination is nurtured better by participating in sports-related competition than by reading. All right, good. It was just this word which kind of was confusing. In conclusion, the cited evidence, no S, provides S, a strong support for the view that doing enjoyable activities with a child, we never use kids in IELTS, can nurture better skills in imagination than reading. Only when those evident no only when this evidence is recognized by parents in schools no comma should those people encourage their children to do more enjoyable activities okay fine um i like that you tried to use an advanced structure that was good um you did something that i liked in this essay in fact it's one thing that many people neglect you talked about mental skills here and you talked about imagination here I was happy with that because most people neglect the part about imagination you did not so well done um, it was fine I felt there was a lot of repetition of the word game console so you can look at how many times you wrote it it was like several times in very few sentences I think it was like four or five times um, I think you could have rephrased this so that it was more cohesive and there was less repetition um, you might have wanted to extend this just a little more, okay? And then the rest of it was fine. It, was, uh, it wasn't bad for your first try, so good job. Let's take a look at your second one. Okay, and here it is, entertaining schools or just educational schools. Here's what you said. In recent years, it has been debated whether schools should solely focus on education or should be more entertaining for students. This essay will argue that it is more beneficial for school administrators to make school more entertaining using statistics S by Australian Department of Education and Research from Harvard. Fine. Um, okay. To begin with, if the sole purpose of schools were to teach, the student's academic performance would suffer. This is because, no comma, this is because teachers in this case would deliver lessons in a machine-like fashion and students are forced to learn passively. Um, okay, careful, because you're using wood, so you should, this should be continuing it with wood. So let's try it like that. This is because teachers in this case would deliver lessons in a machine-like fashion and students would be forced to learn passively, which would make them feel neglected and find it hard to concentrate during lectures. In fact, statistics as published by the Australian Department of Education indicate indicate that the school, no comma, where the sole purpose is to teach, report higher dropout rates as by almost 40 percent. Um, I don't know if you need all these commas here. I'm going to take a risk and say no than their counterparts. As a consequence, the negative impacts of making schools focus, no ING, solely on teaching are clear. On the other hand, by making schools more entertaining, such as using projectors to show pictures alongside with the materials, it helps students to get higher academic achievement. Uh, I want this to be singular here. 
This is because the materials used to teach are stimulating and visually appealing, which makes students engage more in classes and actively learn during sessions. For example, studies by Harvard University show that students who participate in visual lessons outperform those who do not, no comma, no comma, by 65% in academic tests. Thus, it is clear that students will benefit more if their schools are more fun. All right. In conclusion, the cited evidence, no S, provides a strong support, or not even the A, uh, so provides strong support for the view of making schools more entertaining. Only when people at Department of Education recognize this fact, um, not should, but will schools be made more entertaining and engaging for students. Okay, um, this was good. Um, I like that you talked about what happens when we simply teach. I like that you tried talking about entertaining lessons. Um, I have one concern here that I want um, to address. Okay, check it out. Now, the idea here is entertaining. So I want you to think a little bit, and if you're not entirely sure, review what entertainment means. Okay? Uh, fun, uh, amusing, makes you laugh. So my question to you is, does showing pictures do this? So. Could it possibly be more stimulating? Possibly, yeah. Uh, more entertaining? Not necessarily. So you have to show us how this makes lessons more fun. Okay? Um, that's my one concern here. On the whole, it was a good attempt. I did like it. So the question is, though, what about making lessons fun? So when I think about making lessons fun, I would think like, you know, using games in order to help students revise for tests or, you know, maybe using role plays to discuss, um, you know, famous uh, historical figures. So those are things that could be considered entertaining and fun. Uh, I don't know if your example with the pictures is enough. Okay? So think about that a little bit. On the whole, I'm happy with these first essays. You're understanding the template well. Um, you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing. And what I really like about your essays is, is that you're addressing um, all the sides of the task. And that's really important. So let's just work on some of these little things, um, you know, and and maybe making your examples a little more solid. Okay? So let's talk about now what you have to do. Um, you have to correct these essays based on my suggestions, number one. Number two, you have to create an error correction list where you'll write down the mistakes that were pointed out to you, and then next to each mistake, write down what the corrected version is. This is a list that you're going to add to with each video correction you get back. Uh, send that to us as well. And then the third thing, of course, is your next set of essays. Try to do all of this within the next uh, 24 hours or so so you can really apply everything you've been learning. Okay, we're here. We're waiting to see what you write next, so good luck.